Greetings everyone, Brad here with Mild Mannered EDC. Today we are going to do a classic Mild Mannered review of this interesting knife, um, which, you know, to be honest, is neither really classic nor Mild Mannered. <laughs> um, it's, it's a pretty interesting and kind of, um, you know, kind of in your face a little bit design, but I think overall, it, you know, it's one of these I picked up sort of on a lark and at the end of the day was kind of like, yeah, I like this. This is cool. Um, not only because of the design, but it's also really well manufactured by Kaiser. This is a collaboration uh, between Kaiser and, well, there's his logo here, Maker's Mark D-O-C-K. That's Dmitry Osenrenko. He is based out of St. Petersburg, Russia. Interesting guy, been able to chat just a tiny bit with him on Instagram and seems like a cool guy. But this is one of his designs and Kaiser sort of brought it to life here in the production world. And I think it's pretty neat and it warrants a review. Uh, and I hope you'll find it interesting, particularly if you like this style of knife, this sort of cleaver or hard use kind of knife. Yeah, this could be something you're interested in. So, all right, a couple of um, other notes before we get stuck in here. $69 is about what this will run you, between $60 $69, somewhere in that range. As I mentioned, Kaiser, so it is manufactured out of China. Maybe that matters to you, maybe it doesn't. That uh, doesn't bother me, uh, but always good to get that out of way in terms of country of origin, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so we will do a classic mild manner review on this, but we, before we do that, let's talk a, a little bit about some specs and we'll do a couple size comparisons, then we'll get underway. So this Kaiser Quatch, we've got a, <laughs> a pretty hefty cleaver blade here, but it's only coming in about 2.87 inches. So it, it, it's, it's a biggish blade, but it's not as long as it might seem, um, especially kind of just seeing it in pictures maybe. Uh, you have a blade thickness of 0 0.12, which is actually very respectable. I like the fact they didn't just make this a super chunker <laughs> in terms of stock thickness. So there you go. Uh, okay, handle length here when it's all closed up of 5.87 inches, a handle thickness of 0 0.47 inches. Again, this could have been thicker, but it isn't. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, so overall, um, tip to tail, when it's all opened up, we've got an 8.75 inch knife. Now, the weight on this, <laughs> so remember we've got this 2.8 inch blade. So for those of you that love that ounce and inch, ounce and inch sort of magic recipe, yeah, this one's not going to um, please you. This is 4.64 ounces. So it's a heavy knife, but you know, it's, I say heavy, but it's really, it doesn't carry that heavy. Um, you know, I, there's clearly some reasons why it's it's the weight that it is, but you know, for the, for the knife, for the kind of sort of amount of knife you're getting with this, it really doesn't come across um, that heavy in the pocket. And we'll talk about that in carry uh, later on, but there you go. Okay, how about a couple of size comparisons while we're here? So there's the Quatch. How about the Manix 2 Lightweight? You can kind of see where that falls in. Another one of those kind of um, heavier use. And then this, this is the Kershaw Bracket. Was this the bracket? I think it's the bracket. Does it have the name on it? No. This is the bracket. I didn't review this. I bought it and then didn't review it. I probably should review it. Um, kind of an interesting knife. It's a kind of next iteration of the Kaiser Static, or Kaiser, uh, Kershaw Static, which is one of the first reviews I actually did on this channel. So anyways, there you go. That's, that's what you've got there for size comparison. Um, hopefully that gets you in the ballpark of what we're talking about here. All right. So let's go ahead and get underway with our classic mild manner review. When we do that, we'll talk about blade, we'll talk action, scales and hardware, and then ergos and carry. So blade, yeah, that's a big part of what makes this knife, right? It is a very interesting cleaverish type blade. And again, to pull this Kaiser out, or the guy's done that twice now, this Kershaw out, it's not the traditional type of cleaver that you might be used to, either squared off or maybe slightly canted as this one is here to get almost more of a Warren Cliff look. No, this one's got this interesting, you know, and does it serve any purpose other than just aesthetics? Probably not, um, but it, it, it it's definitely, it's got some attitude, right? I mean, it just, it almost looks like the, you know, kind of the bow of a ship and you know how they, you know, anyways, I don't know where I'm going with that, but yeah, it's just a fascinating design. I think it's it's done pretty darn nice. Now it is in uh, Bowler N690 uh, steel. Uh, that's what we have here. There is a flat grind on this uh, sort of black stonewashed finish that you can see kind of throughout here. Hopefully that's picking that up, but it's done nice. And I think it's something that will probably, normally I'm not huge on black wash blades, but I think when they're stonewashed like this, it really will do a nice job in sort of hiding 
uh, use marks and things like that. So I think it'll probably wear pretty darn well. Now it comes down to a very, very nice um, uh, grind. I mean, bevel here. What? I mean, it's a, it's a flat grind, but the, the thickness behind the edge is quite thin and it's very, very slicey. And again, I think a big part of that is the fact that they started with relatively thin blade stock and they didn't start with just crazy thick blade stock. So I think that's a, that's a nice feature there. Everything also is very well chamfered um, all up through here. The, this sort of opening hole, and we'll talk about that, even though it's a flipper, we'll talk about that in action. Uh, jimping that's, that's, you know, a little bit aggressive, but not overly, you know, it's not going to pull your skin off or anything, but gives you a little extra texture there. Then you've got this nice sharpening choil. I guess you could argue it's a finger choil. It definitely could be used for that purpose. But um, if you've got big fingers, I'm not sure how well that'll serve you, um, but, but it's there. So there you go. So, you know, overall, I, this is a nice blade. Uh, it is just a nice blade. It's a really nice slicer and surprisingly uh, functional. Um, let me just put it that way. I think, you know, they, they've kept the grind out of the plunge line. I mean, it's just, yeah, they did a nice job with this blade. And I'm really, like I said, impressed with how thin this is behind the edge. So there you go. All right, let's go ahead and talk about action. And <laughs> I think action ended up being probably the thing I liked best about this knife. So as you can see, it is a fr flipper, uh, flipper. It is a, they say fripper? I might've said fripper. Words are your second language, sir. It's a flipper. Uh, they've created a nice access point here by cutting out the micarta just a bit here in the scale. So you can really get your finger in there without having a huge uh, flipper tab sort of sticking out. I think that's a really nice design element. Your finger just sort of naturally lands in there. Boom, and it fires out beautifully. Also, you know, finger flick, thumb flick, you know, whatever you want to do, it's it's dialed in for that, and it's a surprisingly uh, addictive action. Uh, it's really satisfying to just sort of play around with this and open it in a lot of different ways, as you can see me doing right here on the video. Now it is running on caged uh, ceramic ball bearings, so very smooth. But boy, when I say smooth, it is very smooth. Uh, check this out. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, I mean, I'm not doing anything other than just the weight of the knife. Yeah, it's it's really, really a nice action. And moreover, part of that is also the detent. It's got a really well dialed in detent for not only a flipper, uh, but also something that you can use to, you know, spidey flick uh, or thumb roll or thumb flick, whatever you want to call it just very, very satisfying, but a strong enough detent to the fact that when you're shaking this thing, it actually isn't coming flying out of there. And for, you know, a relatively large chunk of steel, <laughs> um, maybe not in length, but certainly in width, impressive, really impressive. And you can see it sort of suck back in here. There you go. Yeah. So it's, it's got a really decent detent uh, and it's, it's very pleasing. Now it is a liner lock, as you can see, which I like, uh, and lock up, no problems at all. No blade play, no blade rock, uh, either up, down or vertical, <laughs> up or down or vertical, left or right or up or down. So all, all, all done really, really nice that way. So pleased with that quite a bit. So, you know, this blade uh, and action, I think are two of the things that I'm really, really am enjoying on this knife. And it, and it really, I think, took this knife from something I was interested in, thought it might be a fun review to one that, you know, ultimately at the end of this review, I'm gonna say, yeah, I recommend this if it's something you're looking in, if this kind of style of knife is something you like, because it just really is done uh, that well. So, and again, centered, everything, you know, no exposed blade there in the back. Yeah, just, it's done really well. So, all right, that's what we've got, blade and action. Let's talk scales and hardware. We've got a black micarta on this. I think they come in a couple other flavors, but, uh, this one is the black micarta. You can see there's this really nice millwork uh, in the micarta, which gives it a really nice textured feel, but without making it like sort of grippy or, or, or grippy to a point where it's uncomfortable or anything like that. And it just seems like a nice quality of micarta. Um, it, it doesn't feel like the kind that's going to just fray on you all the time, but actually will have uh, some wear to it that uh, I think, you know, will keep it looking good for a long time. So I you know, they just did a nice job with this micarta, and I think it, it actually really makes this kind of an attractive knife, particularly with this milling. Milling micarta is not the easiest thing to do, and, and they've done it very, very well here. So I'm pleased with that. All right, you've got stainless steel liners on this, but they are nested. I don't know if you can see them in there. They did a little bit of weight reduction. Uh, you probably can't see that too. Well, maybe just a little bit over here. Uh, they did a little bit of weight reduction, but, you know... Um, it is what it is, but I but I like that it's got nested liners because it keeps that from being overly flexible and micarta can be flexible when that's the only material there with the scale. So I'm all for that that uh, 
nested liners and obviously it's a liner lock so they kind of had to do that anyways but there you go we've got a copper backspacer here which is attractive also and you know kind of inclusive of that lanyard hole the other thing i want to draw your attention to though is while it has um uh you know kind of blacked out hardware there's only two screws on this knife um well at least on that side on this side you got a bit more because of the clip and by the way this is just a standard stainless steel clip and we'll talk about that a little bit more in carry but it's just really, I think the overall, you, you just not, they haven't cluttered this up with a lot of hardware, which I think is pretty darn, uh, pretty darn nice. So, you know, it's not a fancy pivot or anything like that, pivot screw, but you know, there you go. All right. Now let's talk about ergos and carry a bit, because this is another area where along with blade and action that this knife really sort of stood out to me. It fit my hand surprisingly well. And, and that's in just this sort of standard position, you know, this little bit of a thumb ramp here up on the blade, my ability to sort of lock my hand in comfortably without getting, you know, they chamfered this uh, flipper tab. So it's not really digging into your hand or anything like that. So the ergos are quite good. And I actually expected uh, this copper backspacer to dig in a bit and it really doesn't. And partly it's because I think it's just chamfered nicely like everything else, but just the way it sits, you know, it just, yeah, I mean, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> I don't know any other way to say it. It's really comfortable. And again, you feel free to choke up if you want. I, I think it's a little sketchy because of where that is. And my fingers, I guess, are fat enough where it makes that a little bit, eh. but yeah, this is just, it's a really comfortable, nice in hand, knife in hand. And I think it's also a well-balanced knife overall. So yeah, the, er the ergos on this are just pretty pleasing. Um, they're just, they just add to that sort of overall package. So there you go with the ergos. Now carry it's pretty thick, right? We've got a thick knife kind of, or, you know, the tallness um, of the knife is pretty substantial. This pocket clip is really quite good. I like the fact that it's longer than it probably needed to be because it's a pretty long knife. And I think getting it in there, it's not deep carry, but it's pretty, <laughs> it's, it's about as deep carry as they could go without putting a deep carry pocket clip on. You've already got this protruding lanyard hole area which you know maybe like maybe don't like i think it adds to the sort of overall aesthetic of this knife so it doesn't bother me i'm not a lanyard person i'm not even a lanyard hole person generally speaking but just the overall package of how they deliver you know kind of put this together i think it looks cool um but yeah this is actually a surprisingly good pocket clip it is not an attractive pocket clip <laughs> right it's not the best looking pocket clip out there but I'll tell you what it is, it's functional and it, and it, and, and it does the job that you want a pocket clip to do, which is keep this in your shorts and I or shorts, pants, whatever you're wearing. I was saying shorts because I've carried this relatively heavy knife in gym shorts and swim trunks. Um, and it stayed perfectly secure in there and didn't, you know, flop around or do anything else weird. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's not the nicest looking, but I think it actually is pretty darn um, well done uh, with both its tension and just the way it, it secures and slides in and out of the pocket, especially since it's on this micarta, uh, even though it's on sort of that middle part of the micarta. So there you go. All right. So that's what we've got here with this Kaiser Quatch. You know, like you've probably heard me, I kind of gave it away at the beginning of the review, I guess, but you've heard me say, I, I, this is a knife that sort of surprised me. Uh, I ended up liking it quite a bit. It's not the normal knife that you might see um, if you follow me over on Instagram or something like that, but I've posted quite a few on this because it just caught me off guard and it's just really well done. Uh, it's just a nicely done knife by Kaiser. If you are into cleavers or into this kind of style of knife at all, check one of these out. I really do think you'll like it. Um, it's, it's, it's a neat knife. Um, I'm gonna send it down the road to another reviewer. Um, I think Scott over at Big Boar Knife and Gear, uh, buddy of mine, he's gonna check it out. He likes this style of knife for sure. And so I told him to take a look at it. And if, you know, if he likes it, uh, keep it. If not, send it on down the line to somebody else. But yeah, overall, cool knife, Kaiser Quatch. Yeah, pretty neat. All right, stay safe out there, please, everybody. Be mild-mannered to one another and all the best.